The president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, has held a televised speech to the nation explaining his decision to safeguard both the health of Brazilians and the country's economy. The speech came at a moment when the president is clashing with state governors who want harsher lockdown measures than the president does. Jair Bolsonaro addressed the nation in a televised speech, defending his position that Brazil needs to both protect human lives and the country's economy during the global coronavirus pandemic. Meanwhile, the left-wing opposition encouraged people to protest against Bolsonaro by stepping out on their balconies to bang on pots and pans. President Bolsonaro has in recent days become embroiled in conflict with several state governors who favor a much harsher quarantine regime, most notably the governor of Sao Paulo, João Doria, who won election to become governor thanks to declaring himself as a loyal Bolsonaro supporter in front of voters. In recent days, however, he has distanced himself from the president by signaling that he favors closer relations with China instead of the US like Bolsonaro does. Bolsonaro drew light to viral video, a translation into Portuguese by the Brazilian Twitter user Rafael Glau or RF Glau of a speech made by the Director General of the World Health Organization, Tedros Adhanom, in which he stated that people in some countries cannot self-isolate as they have to work to have something to live for. And I know many people actually have to work every single day to win their daily bread. And governments should take this population into account. The sentiment was echoed by President Bolsonaro. Like the Director General of the World Health Organization said, every individual is important. At the same time, we should stop the destruction of jobs. The collateral damage of the measures to fight the coronavirus cannot be worse than the very illness. My obligation as president goes beyond the next few months. President Bolsonaro came to power campaigning on the promise to improve the country's economy, which slowed significantly under the rule of the previous socialist government.